The Minneapolis City Council is calling for an independent investigation into how the response was handled in the shooting of Davis Maturi. The months-long dispute between neighbors ended with Maturi being shot and his neighbor John Sochik facing attempted murder charges. Fox 9's So Young Kim joins us in the newsroom tonight with the latest on a case that has created a lot of community uproar, So Young. Randy, that's exactly right. A lot of questions have been raised in this case about why it took police almost a week to take Sanchek into custody and mo why more wasn't done before it escalated to this when alarms were raised by Matori at, about this problematic neighbor multiple times. There was a major systemic failure here in the delivery of services. The Minneapolis City Council discussed how the city and police failed to protect 34-year-old Davis Matori. This after Matori was shot in front of his home on Grand Avenue in South Minneapolis last week. Matori had made more than a dozen harassment reports against 54-year-old John Sacek leading up to the shooting. It is heartbreaking to see um, in this case that MPD failed to protect another black resident. The council unanimously passed a motion Thursday requesting the city auditor conduct an independent after action review of all incidents and cases between Sawcheck and Maturi. Earlier this week, Minneapolis Police Chief Brian O'Hara said the department failed the victim. Todd Barnett, the city's community safety commissioner, also addressed this matter Thursday. The city will undergo a thorough review of this incident and the events that have led up to uh, last weekend all the way through um, till today and beyond. Barnett also addressed calls for the chief to step down. I am not going to fire Chief O'Hare. Chief O'Hara has done a lot for the department in reform. Maturi has since been released from the hospital and is on a long road to recovery from broken ribs, a fractured spine, and a concussion. Sajak remains behind bars on a $1 million bail. City leaders say understanding the particular failures that led up to this shooting is critical to prevent it from happening in the future. And I know residents want to know that if they ever find themselves in a nightmare situation where their safety or their lives are at risk and they call 911, that the city will send the right person for the job to protect them in the way that is safe, respectful, and effective. The independent after action review has been requested to be completed by next summer. Live in the newsroom tonight, So Young Kim, Fox 9.